Welcome to Ammerdale All News, your premier destination for exclusive updates and behind the scenes insights. 13 Ammerdale spoilers for next week, including Laurel Collapse, Charles Confrontation, and Dingle Suspicions. Emmerdale spoilers for next week include Charity growing concerned about Belle's marriage to Tom and Laurel, collapsing after a row with Jay. Elsewhere, Charles angrily confronts Caleb about Ethan's death, and Mandy offends Rona. Here are 13 huge Emmerdale spoilers for next week. Charity, Chaz, Mandy and Lydia quiz Belle over her marriage with Tom, prompting her to panic. Charity pushes her to open up, but this causes Belle storms out. When Charity finds an upset Belle outside the wool pack, she asks her once more to open up about what's going on. Belle becomes tearful, but she spots Tom coming towards her and Charity. She shuts Charity away and flees home in a panic. With Belle having ran off, Tom speaks to Charity and shuts down her concerns. He tells her Belle is struggling with her mental health. Later on, Chaz, Mandy, and Lydia worry that Charity has overreacted and Charity exits the room in frustration. She wonders if she's missed her chance to convince the other women there's something wrong with Belle. Later, Tom takes a phone call and confirms he wants to interview for a job in a very remote part of Wales. During the interview, he suggests to the interviewer that Belle would love to move away from the village. Tom later offers to take Belle on holiday to a remote cottage, and she begins to warm to the idea. While Tom is pleased his plan is taking shape, Belle is unaware on his true intentions. Jay and Laurel become embroiled in a heated row after Jay edits. He doesn't have it in him to tell Suni the truth. Laurel is left furious with Jay's decision and tensions begin to rise between the pair. Jay then insults Ashley before being urged to leave by Laurel. When Jay's gone, Laurel starts to feel dizzy and collapses onto the floor. She's unable to reach for her phone as it rings. Gabby turns up and finds Laurel struggling to breathe, and she proceeds to call for an ambulance. She then calls Jay, who becomes irritated with the amount of times she's trying to contact him. Will Jay answer the phone and how will he react when he finds out about Laurel's collapse? After finding out Ekan's hit and run case is going to be dropped, Charles struggles to cope. He gets drunk in the pub and eventually heads home with Caleb, not wanting to return to his own home. Ruby is alarmed when Caleb arrives home with Charles. The following morning, Charles spills coffee on the floor, and as he tries to clean it up, he comes across an intriguing invoice. What has Charles found and how will it impact Caleb? Charles later insists on giving Caleb a lift to Hutton, despite his reluctance. However, he soon parks the car at the woods and takes a stroll while springing up the topic of the hit and run. When Charles' warmth starts to disappear, Caleb tries to return to the car, but is stopped in his tracks as Charles produces the invoice he found earlier. He believes that the invoice is evidence that Caleb was involved in the hit and run. Ravo tries to find out more about Maddie, but is shut down by Maddie's cellmate Les. Later, Les begins coaching Maddie on how to act while in prison. Worried about how he is perceived, Maddie asks Les what kind of questions he can expect from other prisoners. After taking Les advice on board, Maddie decides to open up to his cellmate and nervously tells Les he is transgender. Les questions him about it before confirming he'll mind his own business. He warns Maddie that others may not be so kind to him. Josh and Sarah are getting along well and he convinces her to come out for lunch with him. However, their happiness is short-lived when Moira and Kane turn up. Sarah is left embarrassed when Kane tells Josh to leave her alone. Will he listen to Kane's warning? In other Emmerdale spoilers, Patty invites Marlon and Rona around for a games night with him and Mandy. However, Mandy admits Rona is not great company and is unimpressed by Patty's plans. During their double date, Mandy offends Rona and things don't quite go to plan. Patty encourages Mandy to make amends with Rona, 
But will this advice fall on deaf ears?